Hey everyone, Techni here, and we got a keyboard review today. The keyboard we have is a Red Dragon Kumara Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, as you can see right here. But you know what? Let's not waste any time. Let's pop it open and see what we got. Now for this next part, I highly recommend you getting some ear protection because this sucker is loud. All right, so again, we're about where your ears would be from the uh, keyboard on your chair. Now real quick, let's cover that since we just did that sound test. As you saw, I was slapping the keys in some instances and then I slowed down like if you're regular typing. I did that slapping because I figured that'd be more like a, a, a game situation when you're really getting at it, you know, and then the slow typing. And either way, in my opinion, it was loud. Now this keyboard does use the, I'm probably going to say this wrong, Altimu, Altumu uh, blue switches, which on their box it says it's the equivalent to the Cherry MX blue switches. Now usually I use Cherry MX red or a membrane keyboard. Board, so I really like that smooth quiet feeling so again if you like that really just clicky I, I compare this to like a typewriter right um, sound if you like that okay then then that then it, then it has it. it definitely has it it's like I don't know if you guys can really let me bring it really close you hear so it kind of like clicks and then presses if that makes sense like it's really hard to tell, but it clicks then presses, clicks then presses, and you hear both sounds really distinctively. So again, if you like that really clicky sound, hey, this does it. All right, now let's talk about build quality. And let me tell you, this thing is heavy. Um, the outside's plastic right there, but inside underneath your keys down there, it's gonna be all metal. I mean, it is incredibly heavy, which is real nice, so it's not gonna move around on you. Couple metal, uh, or not metal, rubber feet on the bottom to prevent you from sliding. You also have some pop-out feet right there, which is really nice, because on the bottom down here, you have these rubber caps on them as well, so when you pop your feet out, it's not gonna slide around. Some keyboards don't do that. But as far as build quality, I mean, this sucker is solid. The USB is gigantic. I mean, this thing is huge. But um, again, heavy duty, uh, it just feels incredibly solid. Now, as far as RGB, like I showed in the close-ups earlier, there's not many options, right? Well, this is just R, it just lights up red. Um, they also sell this in a white model that lights up just red as well, which looks really cool, by the way. And then they also sell the black and white model in RGB. Um, model which you can obviously change all of the colors but again i just have the red version here and there's not many options like i said you press that function home and it starts breathing and you can adjust the speed of the breathing and then of course when you don't have the breathing on you can adjust the uh, the brightness to uh you know dim or bright to your liking so not many options as far as customization for the uh lights but uh i don't mind that at all because usually on my keyboards i just leave them at red anyways and just right there. I mean, I adjust my brightness, but as far as I don't leave any effects going, it's too distracting for me. Now, in your box, you're also going to get your manual, which is a quick two-page thing letting you know how to adjust the RGB and that stuff, so nothing really needed in there. But you're also going to get a little key puller here, which you can, let me just pull one of these out here. Ah, you can pull your keys out right there, and you can see your little switch right in there. So, uh, pretty nice to have that. And these switches look just like the regular mechanical Cherry MX switches. They got a little circle with a T in there. So, now I want to show you one other thing which I think is pretty cool about this. Some people might not like it, but I'm going to bring you in here and show you. What I want you to do right now is if we can get focused, there we go. Just take a look at the font. Look at the fonts on there. You have the A where you get the gap, and then with the other letters, 
Let me give you one more pan. Just check out the fonts, how it just looks. You kind of have that different like futuristic look where you got that little gap in between each of them. It's really bold. Um, even when it spells out caps lock and everything, it's just you got that gap in between the D. I think it looks cool. It's just kind of has that little futuristic look. It could take a little while to get used to, number one, how bold it is. But number two, uh, the, the font looks different than your standard keyboard. And this Red Dragon Kumar keyboard comes in around 30 to 35 bucks on Amazon. And I think at that price range, I really feel like you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. No, you don't have all these bells and whistles with all these crazy lights and everything. But me personally, I like minimalistic and I like cheap as far as price, cheap price, not cheap product, but cheap price, right? And I think this really covers that. Now, the one thing I don't like about this keyboard, and it's not fault in the keyboard, so, so take that right there, but I don't like the blue switches. It is way too loud for me. I just don't like it. I mean, my son's room is uh, right down the stairs right there. And if I'm going to town on a, a game, I mean, this sucker gets loud. You know what I mean? So again, that's just my opinion. I don't like the blue switches. If you like that really uh, clicky tactile sound, I mean, this sucker is a win. And like I said, you can get the RGB one. The RGB one costs a little more. I think you might be getting up around 40 bucks or so. But um, minimalistic um, with the red lights at 30 to 35 bucks, I mean, this sucker is built like a tank. I mean, it is really solid. Minimal features, which I love. Um, and that price is just perfect. Again, if you like that blue uh, clicky tactile sound. Me personally, I do not. But if you do, I think you got a winner right here. But everyone, thank you for watching. I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you. If you liked it, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now. Now, I think they really nailed the three key features on the front of this package here. High speed, high control, and high response.